there is fear and rage among our people. Our voices met with dismissal, where our only source of truth is paid to keep it casual. To enjoy a slither of a life we once knew or to have the ability to work for the bills that are due, we're told to join the queue to do something that is still in review. Stay at home, all you who contravene. You can return to society when we go into green. Watch out for danger. A smile from a stranger could be all it takes to make you contagious. Cover your faces and keep your distance. We don't want to see a surge in cases, but he can't breathe. And she suffers from anxiety, yet their exemptions are still met with questions. Censorship of our voices by the corporate giants, forced into abidance to follow the guidance of science. Now shut up and be silent. There may be an independent debate on the efficacy, but we're a divided society protesting against these asperities. We have fallen out of touch with the world around us, locked away for just another day or two or three. And days turn to weeks, weeks to months and months to years. Weddings cancelled, funerals foregone, final goodbyes said on the phone. We have read the articles and we have listened to the briefings, but we still haven't addressed the families that are grieving. The loneliness and depression ensued from isolation. The division of friendships and families based on a decision. A myriad of opinions, but very few options. Abide by the instructions presented by the politicians or suffer the repercussions. You have educated us, and we have chosen that what we do with our bodies falls on the hands of those who own them. Kia kaha Aotearoa. Stay strong, New Zealand. Stand for freedom, but stand in love and stand in peace, for the foundation of our nation is built on each of these.